surveying people who've been using our website and making donations to sort of find out how the credit crunch has been affecting them. So this is from almost 1,500 people saying, do you think you're going to have to reconsider how much money you give to charity? So 60% of them say, no, I don't think I will, which on the face of it is not bad, but then you know, 40% are saying they may consider, and then you know, there's 10% there who are going to give back a lot or stop giving at all. So that's kind of, doesn't look too positive really. And, ooh, we've gone right to the end. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, different key. Anyway. So the next thing here is from our charity surveys that we did last summer, you may have seen in professional fundraising last month, we, we published some research on how charities um, think and feel about online fundraising. Um, and so only 5% of the charities we asked said they feel they're making the most of online fundraising. So there's very few people who are really kind of comfortable with this medium and, take, and making the most of it. So, you know, where does that leave us? With only 5% of charities making the most, 40% potentially giving less, now are we looking at a downward spiral here? Is this a kind of wave of negativity going on? Or, you know, you know where are we thinking, where is the money going to come from this year? We're in really tough times, people are cutting back a lot. But actually, is this a time for us, a chance to innovate? You know, can we think, maybe there's things we can do differently now that can really help us? And actually, are things looking up, if you look at it in a different way? So, one of the things I'm going to show you here, this next slide is the growth in user-created events on the Just Giving website. So this is people who've come to our website, decided they wanted to raise money for charity, and just decided themselves they were going to do something could have been sitting in a bath of baked beans, getting their head shaved, creating their own event, giving up cheese for a month uh, for charity as someone did. You know, completely random things that they've just decided to do that hasn't really come from the charity saying we've got an organised event, you know, take part and raise money for us. And that's, you know, massive increase. You see 10,000 user-created events. That's 10,000 individuals raising money for things they've just decided to do in April and May last year. So if you look at that in terms of uh, percentage growth, you know, this is community fundraising. This is people just doing stuff off their own back, raising money from their own little network for a charity. And, you know, community fundraising, people generally think it's like the poor relation of fundraising. But actually, this is where there's growth. If you look at that, you know, 200% up, uh, or above 200%, at least... 1.5 times as many events on our site from 07 to 08. That's massive growth. 